So we all know life is stressful and we all get frazzled from time to time, but all that inner tension can lead to health threats. The key is to learn how to manage tension, and that's why we have Dr. Bill Baker here with us to teach us how to do that. Now, Dr. Baker, you are a clinical psychologist. Explain that to us. Well, actually, a professional, a licensed professional counselor. Okay. So tell us, uh, how does excessive inner tension impact our health and happiness in our life? Well, Wendell, here's the problem. The inner stress that we experience through our daily activities creates within us a state of tension. Okay. Additional tension is created when our brains perceive that we're in danger and activates the body's natural alarm system, the so-called fight-flight mechanism. This cumulative stress uh, and tension can hurt our health in terms of tension headaches, uh, grinding our teeth, teeth. Uh, sure, things like that, uh, increased blood pressure, muscle pain, and can even cause us to have sleep deprivation and even outburst of anger. So, so how do we uh, process or reduce that negative tension? How do we manage that? Well, a key component is relaxation. We have to learn to relax. Let me briefly suggest... And this a, is not sleep. Relax, sleep is not... Is that part of it, or you mean just relax? Well, some other tools for relaxation. Uh, let me suggest a simplified three-step ABC approach. Okay. Uh, the letter A, step one, means assess your tension. Several times during the day, take something like a simple rubber band and assess your inner tension going from zero to ten and see if it's <clears throat> low, moderate, or high. Okay. And if it's me moderate or high, uh, use steps B and C to bring it down to a low level and to prevent additional uh, buildup. So what's now, B? So assess so your B, tension is A. B. A is to assess the tension. B is to breathe more slowly. Uh, oh. Focus on the breathing and purposely take three to five slow breaths, uh, exhaling through the mouth, inhaling through the nose, focusing on the breathing, <laughs> and maybe uh, relax, saying a word like relax, relax, relax. 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 And then right. the third step, C, is calm yourself, yourself down. down. Through That's this, funny. I think yeah. I do that. It's more like I go, okay, just breathe. Well, good, Wendell. Just that's, breathe. That's part of it. I've done this, that, yeah. This calming down you know, there process. Are times you just uh, have to take a, you have to take a breath. Well, that's definitely true. Um, one important thing is to try to relax groups of muscles throughout the body, particularly in a certain group where our attention might seem to focus or congregate. Uh, research shows that the best way to do that is not simply to command a muscle group to relax like relax, but rather to tense a muscle group like the arm muscles, hold it for a moment, feel the tension, and then release it. Tense, release, Tense, tense release. release and a person can take three to four or five minutes throughout the day on occasions maybe going to the restroom or someplace or in private and just tensing up body muscles and, and then, then relaxing them okay. say three to five times throughout the body as much as time allows and that ABC approach then allows us to manage our tension through learning to relax ABC we got it assess breathe and calm yourself down dr. Baker thank you so much for joining us I'm that's glad our to be time here. for now